son's 13th birthday he is officially a teenager Woo! and he got a mustache y'all he does not have a mustache yes he does why you hate on my baby's mustache no it doesn't so, so last, okay okay so the last time we saw y'all was what friday night mm -hmm. yeah friday when we went to to urban licks i'm ready to go back it was the bomb. <laughs> we keep talking about that, I mean, right? I it was really good, though. Um, Y'all, look who's driving today. Look Anywho. Who's vlogging today. <laughs> um, so, Saturday... Was that last night? I'm yeah. tripping, y'all. Sorry. Okay, so yesterday... Valentine's T had Day. to work. Yeah, that was Valentine's Day. And T had to work... But, um, did we do anything before? No, we didn't do. We ate breakfast. We before. ate breakfast. <laughs> no, because I didn't even eat. But, anywho, right. then um, I did some running around to get the rest of her Valentine's gifts. And um, we did lunch. And then we went bar hopping last night. So romantic, right? Did you have fun? No, I had a ball. So, we went bar hopping last night because we did the romantical things on Friday. And today we are headed to brunch. Today we're headed to brunch at Copeland's. And I've never been to Copeland's, but we're going today for brunch. So I'm gonna have me a mimosa and some other stuff. You got something to say, babe? I'm driving. And that what you be telling now me? Now she don't want to talk. <laughs> you got something to say, baby? No, but we had fun last night. We went bar hopping. Y'all, I was toe down. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we vlogged last night because I was. It's but it was my. It's my birthday. Yes, yeah, so tell me. You Weekend. Say. Who did I see? Oh, y'all. R. Kelly was in the building. <laughs> R. Kelly was in the building. Babe said I kept saying it real, real loud. I was drunk. Oh he did well. Look like R. Kelly. He did. He looked just like R. Kelly. And then what makes it so bad is the friends that were with us act just like her. So they were egging her on, especially like my friends are cool and they actually get along. So a couple of my friends came out with us last night. We all kind of went after work and they were all turned to the max. So that's right. That's what you're supposed <laughs> to do when you bar hop. You're supposed to hop the bars and drink, right? I and thought you can so. Where we go, where we went to, you can actually take your drinks outside the bar. Yeah. So we bought like drinks, 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 and then we was walking around to the different bars. Well, we only went to two, but but we was left in that glory hole. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God, that was a bar, right? After we left out, I had to use the potty. I don't know why I say that at 30 years old, right? Yeah. Kid. But anywho, I had to use the bathroom and. They was like, oh, go across the street. It's a bar over there. Do y'all know that thing said glory hole? Then it said triple X and then it said the bar. It's a church. Then it had a cross in the front of the bar. Like, oh no, too much going on. So her and another one of our friends um, were, I, two of our friends did not know what a glory hole was. Who didn't know what a glory hole was? Uh, I don't think, no, I don't think, not that they didn't know what a glory hole was. I don't think they caught on at first what a glory hole was when the, the other couple that was with us and one of my other friends who I will not name um, him and China when we go places their personalities feed off of each other okay and it's been like that since they first met so she's like I'm not going to the bathroom it says glory hole and one of my other friends was like, huh, Loni said yes, that means somebody's gonna be in the bathroom, stick their Peter Whacker through the hole, and somebody else is gonna pleasure it. <laughs> I don't think you wanna go there. So they were literally, then they turned, oh my God, so the bars were closing, because it closes at like 2.30 in that area. But we were standing next to one bar, you could hear the music outside, so next thing I know, 
Jada and two of my female friends were turning the sidewalk into a goddamn club. <laughs> so, needless to say, we had a really, really good time last night. Um, any of you guys who are from Atlanta, if you know where Edgewood Avenue is, over by Harold's Chicken, um, it's really good to go bar hopping there. Saturdays are um, like Saturdays when we usually go. Very mixed crowd. I mean, you have parties on the street. Every bar is free for women. Most of them are also free for men. Drinks are extremely cheap. And there's, even when people are sloppy drunk, there's never been any drama, no fights. The only thing I will say, if you don't like crowds or people rubbing up against you, not in a perverted way, but when they're just trying to get past and things like that, then I wouldn't recommend going. But if you're okay, like I don't do crowds. Neither one of us do. But even though it's crowded, and I mean, people are very polite. Most people say, excuse if they don't realize they stepped on your shoe or bumped you if you know if somebody says hey you stepped on my shoe i mean they're very apologetic um and just there's three rules you need to know one no last time we went these dudes were raw chick clapping to beyonce and china says oh my god you do not clap to beyonce so like, <laughs> who, like like for real, y'all. They was like ratchet hood clapping. Like, like, Who the hell like, like hood clap? Like right, like no, you do not ratchet hood clap to Beyonce. But so this dude who just happened to join our little crew, we still don't know his name. We, we don't know his name or nothing. He turns around and says no. He says he's talking to the dude because I'm like, uh uh, you don't hood clap to Beyonce. He turns around, mind you, he's really tall. He's like, hey. No clapping to Beyonce. You do not clap. You do not clap to Beyonce. I was like, okay, you can join our crew for the night. So that's rule number one. Uh, rule number two, don't wear heels. Um, do not wear heels, and ladies. don't dress overly up. Yeah, don't go like you finna go to like compound or like Harlem Nights or anything like that. Like t-shirt, jeans is really like... Like every dude down there is gonna have on t-shirt jeans and, a, and some jacket and a hat and most of the females I mean of course you got your few heifer hoes who think they going to go work at Magic City when they come down there oh my god hold on okay so y'all know we vlog based, like you know our majority of our um, audience is like LGBT so of course it's a mixed crowd so it's gay straight you know whoever whatever it doesn't matter black white Asian like it's everybody down there people flipping y'all this mother freaking trick <clears throat> came in there with the smallest tiniest nothing on like she was getting ready to go to like dance at magic city like chick sit down have, sit down she looked the hot mess and then her girlfriend was in there like I guess they thought they was gonna be like, you know, lesbian couple, like the famous lesbian couple of the year or something. A mess. Anywho, we're on the way to Copeland's cause, you know, anywho. So we'll try to get some footage. If not, we'll insert pictures cause you know, Copeland's a little, you know. Upscale. Upscale, so. But anyways, we'll Not see y'all later. Bye. Excuse our uh, GPS system. Um, Copeland's, wait was an hour and a half and 900 feet no. Turn left on so Boulevard. we are going to go to flying biscuit and we'll just do copeland's another day because you know everybody got them taxes back everybody want to go eat good and be still romantical for valentine's day weekend so Turn left on we'll just do it another time because uh, valentine's is every day off in this mug you feel me but anyway we can already go to um, Flying Biscuits, and baby, you need to get over to that way. At 900 feet, turn left to one right. eighty-five feet. So, anywho, um, yeah, we're going to Flying Biscuits. So, I just wanted to update y'all because I, know, you know, after we eat, we be like, ooh, such and such was so good, but we ain't going to Copeland till. Their food is good though. I never been. Babe goes because she literally works turn like. Left across the street. So she be eating good and I just be eating McDonald's and stuff. You just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't eat. Hold up. She, she's trying to make it seem like I treat her bad. She don't even fucking eat McDonald's and I get in trouble for eating McDonald's so she better cut that shit out. And I only eat at couple sisters across the street and I can get my food to go and I ain't gotta wait no damn line. But when you be going to La Perea and stuff I work and you don't be taking me or bringing me no food home, do I say anything? I go to La Perea like... <laughs> 
once a month, if that. And the only time I go is when my coworkers be like, oh, you wanna go to La Perea? Uh, yeah, hello, all right. Anywho, we'll get back at y'all when we get to Flying Biscuit. Hello, hello, YouTube. It's my motherfucking birthday, okay? Um, babe is in the gas station getting, um, I don't know what she getting now, honestly. Need to be getting some gas up in this mug. But, um, no, we are headed to the mall, Ulta, Sephora, Mac, you know. Do a little birthday shopping. And then after that, I want some Jamaican food today for my birthday, so I'm looking, I'm look, I don't know, anywho. Um, anyway, it is Tuesday, February 17th. I am officially 21 again, mm -hmm. yeah. So anyways, I was trying to see if Bay was gonna come to the car, a lay car, but I don't see her, so I don't know what's going on. So I'll just hit y'all back when she gets in the car. Bye bye. So you guys, I'm back. Um, I just want to wish my baby a happy birthday, per happy 31st birthday. Um, she is in Ulta right now. Um, feeling a little bit under the weather, of course, but still have to perk up for Babe's birthday because she is her birthday. And my phone just rang. And look, you guys, so, you know, that was her. That was her calling and asking me, "Was I coming in after I finished my cigarette?" Um. Yeah, but happy birthday, and I. Yeah. I want to wish her a happy birthday and let her know that I love her because she won't see this until I edit it. So it's going to be super embarrassing because she doesn't like me to be mushy. Well, sometimes she likes me to be mushy, but I just want to wish her a happy 31st birthday and let her know I love her so very much and that I'm looking to a lifetime of birthdays with her because she ain't not gonna wear y'all she's stuck like chuck so happy birthday baby all right i'm about to go in here because as y'all see my phone ring and that was her calling to say are you coming in here after you smoke your cigarette so i will see you guys in two minutes. here's babe we're at the mall we're at the mall and if somebody look at me crazy i'm like bitch the fuck you looking at just kidding Looked at us crazy yet. Say hey, babe. Hey, girls. So it's her birthday. She's acting like a brat. <laughs> no, YouTube. <laughs> now, what were you saying? I said. See how people be talking about personal movie? Why the fuck do you care? Are you gonna be on it? <gasps> anyway, go ahead. What I was saying was, it's her birthday. So, of course, she's gonna be a brat. And she just seen Simon Cowell with like. Simon Cowell was in Cumberland Mall and she's hating because I saw R. Kelly at the mall. I mean, What's at the club, mall? at the bar. And now I'm seeing Simon and she's hating. So not hating. So okay, we gotta go down the escalator. Everybody? Okay, maybe not. Elevator. Two escalators that aren't working. And what do I have a fear of? Escalators. Look, they go Simon. Y'all, they go Simon. Y'all see him? Do y'all see him? Simon. I told y'all Simon was at the mall. I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? This little girl staring at me. I should have been like, look girl, you wanna be in this thing? You wanna be a YouTube sensation, girl? I'm just asking. I'm trying to behave myself. What the hell? They don't want us to go downstairs, obviously. Because the ele elevator is out of order, too. I walk all the way to this end. So we are at support. Like the best. 
I wanted to smell. Which one did you say you like? Paul, John Paul Gaultier? Yeah. It was down there. Uh, it was the, um, Lehman, Lehman, which is... Lee Van Lamel. This is Jean Paul Gaultier and Lee Mail. Ski number pound 1112. I smelled it already. You want here? Yeah. Here. Okay. Is it this one? I don't know. Are getting babe some cologne because for Valentine's Day I bought her a sampler. You know you're not recording yourself. Yes, I am. Uh, you're recording me. Yeah, you're in the way. You like that one? Spray it on your spray it on your wrist. I'm trying to find, I don't know, I want some new stuff. Smashbox. I don't know what I want. I know. So we left the makeup store. And now she has to look at the purses. You run in? Good. Where'd you get? Where'd you go? I went to Sephora. Are you having a good birthday? 